evening. Well, with the possibility of strong storms sweeping into the Wabash Valley tomorrow, we want to make sure that you and your family are safe. Kevin Roper joins us here now. All right, uh, Rondrell, we'll get into our chances for severe weather in just a moment. But first, News 10's Patsy Kelly explains how you can be prepared. You're right. You have to be ready for the unavoidable. It goes beyond making sure you have an emergency preparedness kit. It's a state of mind. Think ahead of time. It's about being weather ready. If you live in the Wabash Valley, you know thunderstorms are capable of disaster. They can cause a lot of damage in just a short amount of time. To be aware of, you know, what's coming, definitely, and um, aware of, you know, what their family's needs might be if there was a storm. One of the biggest and most common dangers can leave you in the dark. You know, just be aware of what your family's needs are, and so if the power goes out, um, you're, you're not stuck, you're prepared for that. Taylor has seen the worst kind of disaster areas. She was even deployed for Hurricane Isaac. And one thing she's noticed is, it's the simple things people don't have that can be a world of help. When their food or when their um, electricity goes out and the food in the refrigerators goes bad. For severe storms, it could be as easy as knowing your property. You know, just use common sense and, you know, putting your car in the garage, yes, it'll pr protect it. If you have a large tree, where might that tree fall? Um, and definitely, you know, don't save going to the grocery store until the last minute. And just be, you know, aware and not caught off guard. If all else fails, though, you can call the Red Cross for help. That number will be on this story at WTHITV.com. Back to you.